Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a huge home bargains haul. We went there to pick up um, some last minute gifts just to see what they had and we ended up coming out with three big bags full and then a massive, massive sack bag full as well. We just kind of got everything. So this is going to be a bit of a mix of stuff for the home, stuff for the children's stocking fillers, um, stuff that we're putting together in hampers. Um, and I haven't been bothered to sort it all out so I'm literally just going to like grab the bags, pull the stuff out and show you what we got. So I will start with these right here. They had quite a few different um, colours and things to choose from for crackers. We went with red this year. Um, they were very inexpensive. You get just normal kind of like cracker shizzle in them. Um, nothing too amazing but then again you're never doing crackers but these are cute and they've got like the stag on them which I really like so yes crackers you can go and get from home bargain as well as the crackers they also had really nice wrapping papers they had loads to choose from Luke chose this one with the little dinosaurs on which I assume he's going to use for the children and I went for a more traditional nice style this like tartany stuff we still need a few more but because i'm doing hampers for everybody i'm not sure how much i'm actually going to wrap up um we'll wrap all the stuff for the kids stockings individually and then put them in the stockings so that like dinosaur one will be cute for that right what else did we grab oh we've got a load of like chocolate selection box kind of things from there they're always reasonably priced from places like home bargains and things so we picked up a few of them um as well as i know somewhere else there's a couple more of these these are just going to go to like my nephews um the chocolate ones are going to go to like luke's nieces and nephews and whatnot just like to go with the main present you can't go wrong with loads of chocolate you'll see lots of snacks and things during this haul we got loads um i actually picked up a couple of these um because i'm planning on making hampers for people and i couldn't find any hampers um, but since then I've actually managed to find some. I got a couple from Tesco and a couple from B&M But um, I picked these up which are the hamper wrap sets But if you don't find a hamper or if you already have the hampers and you just want the cellophane and the stuffing and the gift wrap um, These are really nice to just pick up if you already have the hampers because obviously like People might have kept them from previous years and you might not want to buy the whole thing so they do the um, the wrapping sets so they're good and they're really inexpensive as well we also picked up for ourselves at home lots and lots of different kinds of biscuit sets so these will just be going in our kitchen i assume luke likes biscuits the kids will eat the biscuits I don't really like biscuits, but they will be going in our kitchen, I assume. They won't be for presents, but you can get them from Home Bargains as well. Yes, look, lots more chocolates that we picked up. Chocolate coins. You can get everything from there. Then more chocolate coins. And chocolate um, Santa lollipop. Chocolate reindeer lollipops, which is a little bit is snapped off, but never mind. Lots of different chocolates and a snowman lollipop guy he'll be going they'll be going in the children's stockings one each um every year as well we do a christmas eve box so quite a lot of the stuff in here is to go in that and every year we always put like a new storybook in um and i thought this one was really cute it was only 1.99 and it is little penguins big adventure and it actually is like that squidgy stuff and you can move the little sequins around so I thought that was cute. So that will be like our Christmas Eve book that we do. And we also put in like activities and things to make. So we picked up this Elf on the Shelf book, which is 149. And I will say that we actually saw this exact same book in Tesco for like four pound and it's one pound fifty from home bargains so make sure you go and check home bargains first before you go and be spending loads of money. And this is basically just full of activities so the kids can play with that Christmas Eve and then obviously after Christmas Eve they can just play a bit whenever but that'll be going in the Christmas Eve box another thing for the Christmas Eve box is a uh, make your own gingerbread man set so we could do some baking on Christmas Eve and it comes with like a little cutter and then I'm assuming like all the ingredients that you need to make gingerbread men's then another couple things which I picked up which are literally just like because on Christmas Eve you've already got loads of stuff to do you don't want to be like doing like horrendous crafts like 
getting a glitter and glue and paint and all that out you want simple things so these are just a couple little things i wanted to stick in and make your own elf and I make your own snowman i thought they were really sweet so they're going to go in our christmas eve box but again you could put these in somebody's stocking and give these to a little kid they're three plus my kids uh, my boys are actually quite a lot older but that's why they'll be like really nice simple quick they won't need too much help um so they'll be going in the christmas eve boxes as well so they're quite cute what else have we got oh yeah another thing for the christmas eve boxes is snow because every year we make up some snow and we go and put it out in the front and that's always just fun to do you just add water put a couple of them i don't know if i'll be adding more but we're going to put a couple of them in hello baby girl little snow's just woke up um what else Oh, I picked up the boys, one each of these to go in their stockings. So there is a little Santa wash mitt. So the children put their hands in and then they can like wash themselves in the bath. So we've got a Santa one, a reindeer one and a penguin one. So they'll all be going in the three boys stockings. So they're cute. And we picked up this little set. These will be going in my grandma and granddad's hamper. They're by some kind of brand called Velvet Rich. I'm not sure, but they looked quite nice. Um, and I remember that they were really, really like cheap. Everything from Home Bargains is really cheap. So there is a hot chocolate set of syrups. You add them to your hot chocolates to you get like different flavours. And then a chocolate dipping set. This has got cookies and marshmallows. And I thought that looked really cute together. And that kind of like looks like you could get it from like, I don't know, anywhere. But um, home bargains prices. So very nice. They will be going in my grandparents' hamper as well as their other stuff. Um, oh yes, a couple other things that I can see which is also going to be for the Christmas Eve box. Every year we get um, new cups and glasses. Um, so a couple of the glasses and things for the children. I got a Believe in Your Elf mug. So that will be going in as well as like some hot chocolate and things. And uh, Naughty is the new nice. So I think they will be for the two older boys because they are proper like mugs. Me and Luke haven't got one yet, but I picked those ones up from Home Bargains. And then this one that you shake and you can drink from, and that's plastic, so that'll be for the younger one. So we always like to get a new cup or mug at Christmas time. That's just like a tradition now. So we picked those up really cheap. So another thing which I will say Luke picked out, because I like to prefer to make like classier type hampers, whereas he's more like, fun and he's like oh put whatever in so this is something he's picked out for somebody in his family i won't say who just in case they're watching probably not but you never know um it is a one kilogram packet of m ms and like this is the kind of thing i would buy for us to put in our kitchen and not necessarily like give as a gift but you'll see in a minute um it's going to go in a hamper along with let me show you we also picked up this um, shot roulette, which again, Luke picked for somebody and the, the M&Ms, this and a little spin the bottle drinking game. So these are good for anybody who likes to like have fun, drink and obviously is over 18. But I guess you fill them with alcohol. They don't come with alcohol, but yeah, there's some nice fun games. So they'll be going in a hamper. They also had a load of these really cute slabs of chocolate, which looked like quite nice. They were, um, they were like unusual flavours and things. So this one is orange popping candy um, with on milk chocolate. So they're going to go in a couple of different hampers of people. We picked up two of them. One's going to go to someone, one's going to go to the other. And we picked up a ginger and orange slab of chocolate. And this one's dark chocolate. They had quite a few different flavours of them. And I thought they looked really nice to go in a hamper again. And... They have this range at the minute called Winter Woodland and I picked up quite a few things from this range and this is going to go to one person in particular so they're all going to match and this is a pine cone candle so it's a nice big pine cone candle it'll kind of be like a centrepiece something that they might not necessarily light or light only a couple times because then you like kind of keep it as a centrepiece um, and to go with that in that range they also have the Winter Wonderland um, frosted, frosted Pine and Eucalyptus candle and it's like got the gel around it 
if it'll focus. Canon. Canon, focus. There we go. And it has like the gel around it with all like the nice pine cones and things. So that is in the same set. So let me find the other things from the same set. Okay, so a few more things from that range are this massive, massive winter wonderland. Is it winter wonderland? Winter, is this massive, massive winter woodland candle and I thought this looks amazing. Obviously it's got the stag on again and you guys know that I absolutely love the stag. So when you take the lid off, it's got the three wicks and I'm not even joking, I think this was about six pound. It smells really nice as well. Like nice and like woody, like a you expect, but. So that is part of the range two. Then there's also this really, really, really cute lantern. Again, part of the winter woodland range. Where you open it, put in your little tea light. These will all look absolutely gorgeous together in a hamper. They all match perfectly. So nice. The winter woodland candle and diffuser set. So that's got um, like a diffuser, two... Um, two candles and then it's wrapped in this really nice little cracker thing so that again matches so cute so perfect and then the two last things in that range which I picked up are two um photo frames which I think will just finish off the hamper it will look perfect one says love and one says home and everything like I said they all match perfectly they are from the same range. They are absolutely really sweet. I think they look a lot, lot, lot more expensive than they are. They were all so inexpensive, but again, such a nice gift. Like I would be so happy to receive them. And Christmas adds up, like you don't want to be spending like 10 pounds for a photo frame, like from Next, like if that was from Next, you can get two photo frames, all them candles, the lantern, all of that for like a fraction of the price. And it's such a nice gift. A couple more things that I picked up for like uh, the men. I thought this was really cute. It is a money box. So you actually save your money in it, but it is a little um, like fruit machine. So you know, like get to spin it and stuff. And I thought oh, that'd be really cute to stick in a hamper for a male um, or a teenage boy. Um, anybody really. I thought it'd be a really cute little gimmicky gift. And they did actually have a bigger one of these. So that was really cool. They also have quite a lot of um, men's deodorant sets, lotion sets, things like that. So I picked up this nice Dove one. I think it's really nice when they come in an actual bag because then they can keep the wash bags. So like when they're traveling and things, they get to like repack it. So this is actually packed and it comes with three. the Dove antiperspirant. You get the Dove face and body wash and you also get in it the um, shampoo and conditioner. And I believe this was like 3 99 and it said recommended retail price 16 pounds. So home bargains, definitely go and have a look. They had a few other wash bags as well. And I think wash bags are really nice because then they're not just getting the products as well, like they can actually reuse this. And this one's actually a really nice, well-made one. So that one's Dove. I also picked up this, which would be a really nice gift for a male. This is a pub in a box. It comes with two different beers, a glass and some peanuts. And that, I just think, is a really nice gift. You can't go wrong with beer with men at Christmas. You can give this to anybody, so that's really cool. I also picked up, just to put in everybody's um, hampers and things, I'm actually going to open these, some candy canes. And then I'm going to open them, get the candy canes out and shove them all in the hampers, put some in the kids' stocking, put some in the Christmas Eve boxes, put them inside people's gifts. I always like to put in like little extras and things and I think these were like a pound. So I picked up two boxes, they might even have been like 75p. So they are all individually wrapped as well so once you open it you can like literally just put them everywhere. And oh, I'm out of breath because I'm leaning on the big baby bump but yes, the last. The last gift I picked up I thought was really cool it is a it is a strongbow cider keg so and this was like I don't know I can't remember the price but like again I looked at it and thought wow that's so cheap and I thought how cool is that to give to a male or a female but I'm thinking like more 
who like who I'm gonna give it to is gonna be a male. And this is the dark fruit flavour. I can't hold this up for long because I'm very weak now, I'm pregnant, but yeah. So this is really cool, I think, anyway. I think any male will be happy to get that. Um, and again, I've said about everything. Really reasonably priced, so cheap. Um, I picked up all this stuff and it like barely cost like, I'd say 100 pound for all of it. So perfect. And don't try picking up a beer keg when you're almost 35 weeks pregnant. Yes, sorry if I sped through that a little bit and I sound a little bit out of breath, it's because I am always out of breath now that I'm this pregnant. I'm out of breath when I sit down like this. So apologies if that's been annoying, me breathing like that all the way through. But I wanted to just rush through it because um, I actually want to like get this stuff sorted now, get it put into the hampers, mix it with the stuff that I got from Primark. We picked up a few other things from Tesco's, Smith's Toys, Matalan. So now that I've got all of this stuff, I want to go and like start putting into hampers. I might do some videos showing you what I've actually put in specific hampers. I know I've got like a Disney one planned. I've got one for like my mom. I've got then the one for my grandparents. So that'd be like for the older people. Ones for like, um, I've got ones that I'm gonna give to couples. So they'll be like couples hampers. Um, so yeah, so I might do a video on that to show you exactly what I put into the hampers. Um, if anybody would be interested but yes that's everything that we picked up from home bargains we actually went in to we don't even know what we went in for we didn't go in for any of this stuff but we came out with it all and yeah and i think we got a lot of bargains if i'm being completely honest so hopefully you liked this video if you like me and you'd like to see more of me please go and follow my instagram it will be linked down below as always and i will see you in my next video Peace. A load of like selection box. <laughs> Whoops, I can't. Uh, you can sort that. Hang on, let me just pretend that it's not. Oh. I actually went in. Blah, blah, blah. It's not a sent gift. What's it called? What are these called? Games or fun and I mean you don't have to necessarily put alcohol in I mean you could play this with your kids and put like different shots of like juices fizzy stuff you could even make it like one of those like funny games you know where you like put different like like gross drinks or something and then whenever it lands on it or you could even like you know where people put like spice so you like they're nearly like they're all like no nah, I, I need to word that again why? It's not got alcohol in it. Yeah, but I've just explained without alcohol in it. Put drinks in it, fizzy drink. Whatever, fine. So, well, I don't know where to crop it from then. So this is good for anybody who is an alcoholic and wants to drink all the time. <laughs> <coughs> um, and to go with that, <laughs> oh, no, now I've drawn attention to the fact that you're here. Do you want to be in it? I know you don't.